know what? The only way he can honor my son's sacrifice is to bring the rest of our troops home, to make my son's death count for peace and love and not war and hatred like he stands for. I don't want him using my son's death or my family's sacrifice to continue the killing. I don't want him to exploit the honor of my son and the others to, to continue the killing. They're sending honorable people to die and they are so dishonorable themselves. So, as many of you have heard, and um, I didn't mean to cause any problems with the convention, but I was writing an email to everybody, and I was so mad, like I said. And I just had this brainstorm. I'm, I was like, well, I'm going to Dallas. I don't know where Crawford is. You know, it could, I've been in Texas. Casey was stationed at Fort Hood, you know. Um, I drove from Northern California to Fort Hood one time. It took like um, 30 hours. And I thought, I could be driving for days in Texas to get from Dallas to Crawford, but I don't care. I'm going. And I'm going to go, and I'm going to tell them, you get, that, you get that evil maniac out here because a gold star mother, somebody whose, whose son's blood is on his hands, has questions for him. And I'm going to say, okay, listen here, George. <laughs> Number one, you quit, and I demand, every time you get up and spew the filth that you're continuing the killing in Iraq to honor my son's sacrifice, you, you say, I, we're honoring the, the fallen heroes by continuing the mission. I'm going to tell you, say, Accept Casey Sheehan. Yeah. And you say accept Jeffrey Smith. And you say accept Seth DeVorean and all the members of Gold Star Families for Peace because we don't we think not one drop of blood should be spilled. You don't spill any more blood in our family's names. You quit doing that. You don't have my permission to use my yeah. what the noble cause is that my son died for. And if he even starts to say freedom and democracy, I'm gonna say bullshit. You tell me the truth. You tell me that my son died for oil. You tell me that my son died to make your friends rich. You tell me my son died so you can spread the cancer of American Pax Americana imperialism in the Middle East. You tell me that. You don't tell me that my son died for freedom and democracy because we're not freer. You're taking away our freedoms. The Iraqi people aren't freer. They're much worse off than they were before you meddled in their country. You get America out of Iraq, you get Israel out of Palestine, and you'll stop the terror. to the president, then you're wrong, because I'll say bullshit to the president. Bullshit. 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 So, what's going to happen? I started this, I thought it was going to be in my, me and my sister driving to Crawford, but it's kind of mushroomed. I've heard people as far as Dayton, Ohio are coming to help us, to stand behind us, because I go all over the country. I speak all over the country. I write, I get feedback on my writing. And just in the little over a year that I've been doing this, I've seen a major turnaround in this country. Uh, everywhere I speak now, it's full, standing room only. People don't just want to hear. They want to know, what can we do? What can we do to get him out of power? And I'm going to say the I word, impeach. Yeah. What can we do? <laughs> and like I said in my workshop this morning, we have to have everybody impeached that lied to the American public. So that's, you know, everybody in the um, executive branch, Everybody, uh, many people in Congress, 
because we got to go all the way down, and I think we might have to go, and you know, I'm glad I can swear, we might have to go all the way down to the person that picks up the dog shit in Washington, yeah. because we can't let somebody rise to the top that will pardon these war criminals because they need to go to prison for what they've done in this world. We can't have a pardon. They need to pay for what they've done. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to go to Crawford tomorrow, and I'm going to say, get George out here. And if they say, well, you know, no, he's not coming out, then I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to put up my tent there, and I'm staying until he comes and talks to me. Oh. And I have the whole month of August off, yeah. just like him. <laughs> so you guys, can, this is the way it works out. I was supposed to go to England tomorrow to do some Downing Street things, and John Conyers canceled. So hey. Right. I have, you know, cool. a lot of free time on my Open own. the schedule. And I do. It just like things just cleared up, opened the way, and right. I'm going to stay until he comes out and talks to me. Things fall together. And, um,